but it looks like the studio hotline is ringing right now. Hi, Sojo. Hey, how's it going? Is this Heather? It is. Hey, Heather. This is Jason Wade. How are you? Hi, Jason. How's it going? It's going good. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to have you on the line because we did a Sojo session with Lifehouse a couple months back, and I wasn't able to make it, and I heard it was so amazing, and I saw the footage, and it was like really one of the most exciting Sojo sessions we had ever done there at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City. Oh, that's right. The casino show. Yeah. yeah that was a lot of fun. The fans were amazing. Awesome. So I've got Jason Wade, the front man for the band Lifehouse, on the line with me, and we're going to talk a little bit about about their first new album in three years called Out of the Wasteland. So, Jason, um, I know the band had gone through, you know, a few changes over the last couple years, but wh- what have you been up to since Almeria? Hanging out with the family and writing, to be honest. I think that all of us just really needed a break from the road. We've toured relentlessly for over a decade, you know, so we spent our 20s on a tour bus. We just needed to take a little break and kind of find our passion and kind of get revigorated. A very special hour on the line. I've got Jason Wade from the band Lifehouse who's called in. Out of the Wasteland is your seventh studio album. Has that sunk in? Not yet. You know, uh, to be honest, it's a little strange. I think I went through a couple phases in my mid-20s where I was just shocked that I was still playing music for a living and actually being able to pay my bills, you know, and I, I think that all of us are in that space now where we're just really grateful for the opportunity to play music for a living. Tell us a little bit about Out of the Wasteland. We've been getting familiar with Hurricane, which is the most recent single. Well, it's, it's a little bit of everything, you know. It's kind of a collage of all the music that we've produced over the last 15, 16 years. One of the highlight tracks for me is a song called Hourglass, which we wrote with James Newton Howard, who's one of my all-time favorite composers. You know, so to get brilliant mind like that on a track like Hourglass and, and have those string arrangements was uh, kind of a dream come true to me because I've, I've been listening to film music since I was a kid. He's not just like a composer. He's like a major composer, James Newton Howard. Yeah, he's one of the top five guys. And like I said, I've been a, a fan of his since I was 17. 18 years old been buying his music forever so I was actually more starstruck being in the room with him than I was being in the room with Mick Jagger. Well, I must imagine you that was almost like a like a class for you right? I was uh, more humbled than anything to watch just watch him write sheet music was stunning you know my mind doesn't work that way I don't have that kind of training so to to be honest it was like watching a movie it was just like kind of watching a a master paint. Do you have a a favorite movie soundtrack or score that you Uh, like? Well all of his stuff also Thomas Newman is one of my favorites too the American Beauty soundtrack. Oh yeah incredible experience no doubt. We're back with the lead singer of Lifehouse now, Jason Wade. And looking back, Lifehouse has been making music consistently for the last 15 years. Your catalog still astounds me how how people respond to songs like You and Me. How many couples over the, the years ask you to play that or, you know, we this is our wedding song? I'm sure hundreds and thousands, right? Definitely quite a few. I've actually placed it at a couple weddings for uh, friends of mine. And it was the song that I proposed to my girlfriend with, you know, so I think that's Aww. Cool. Any songs when you get out to play live or I don't know you happen to be flipping and let's just say like hanging by a moment it just happens to be like on the radio someplace that you are are there any songs that you listen to and you think wow you know I we wrote a really really great song there yeah you know obviously you and me and hanging by a moment a more meaningful song to me is probably a song called broken whenever I hear that song I, I get moved by it oh for sure that's one of my favorites Thanks for checking out today's All Request drive Through. Spending a little bit of the hour with Jason Wade, his band Lifehouse having a very big spring so far, with the release of their new album, Out of the Wasteland. I know they're anxious to play live for fans. So you're out on tour with Nickelback this summer, the No Fixed Address Tour. That That's pretty big to be out on the road with those guys. They, they put on a pretty big production, and we'll bring you to Susquehanna Bank Center along the Camden Waterfront here in South Jersey on August 22nd. What are you looking forward to being on the road with them? Probably the barbecues and having a couple beers. You know, I haven't seen those guys for 15, 16 years, so it should be a fun time. It's so interesting. Right when we were first starting, I think that they were already on their second record, but it was before uh, How You Remind Me came out. We played these really small club shows together back in 99, 2000. I just remember them being a great live band and really nice guys. Really nice guys, right? Like, it's it's kind of unfair the backlash that band gets because I defy anybody to stand in a room with those guys and not say, like, they are some of the nice guys I've ever met. Yeah, you know, the, the world is cruel, and uh, I think it's completely unfair. It's almost like cyber bullying, <laughs> you know, like band bullying. I don't understand it. But, you know, you wouldn't want to be friends with most of those guys. They're the guys that hate on Nickelback. They're just doing it to be cool or something. I don't, I don't understand it. I agree. I'm Heather DeLuca with the All Request Drive-Thru. I'm actually on the line with Tom Morgan's doppelganger, 
Jason Wade, frontman for Lifehouse. So tell me about the title of the album. Where did that come from, Out of the Wasteland? What does that mean to you? Well, the original title was uh, Seven because it's our seventh record. We got into a room and just kind of laughed about it, saying, like, guys, we can come up with something more creative than that. <laughs> you know? And then we just started talking about being independent now and uh, making the record that we wanted to make and, you know, the state of the music business if you get in too far the clutches of the music business. And, and Out of the Wasteland came out of that, which just represents a new season for the band and, you know, a new era that represents freedom and finding that spark that we had in the beginning. Do you feel freer as an artist, as a band? Oh, yeah. We're having fun again. You need to take some time off and spend some time with your family and just do normal things for a while, and then you find that you want to pick up that guitar a couple more times a day and, and start writing songs again. So it's in stores now, Out of the Wasteland. It is the seventh studio album from Lifehouse, their first in three years. It's really great to have you back. Lifehousemusic.com if you want to see what the band's been up to. They are on tour with Nickelback, as I mentioned, hitting Susquehanna Bank Center on August 22nd for the No Fixed Address Tour. And yeah, so I think maybe we should give a copy away. What do you think, Jason? Heather, I'm down.